Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing this cat montage here inside of a cat-shaped silhouette. Okay, now to start off this project, you need to have a whole bunch of files open. I'm just going to close this one down. There we go. And I'll go over here to the photo bin. You can see I have a whole bunch of cat photos opened up right now inside of the Photoshop Elements Editor. Okay, we're all set now to make our montage. And for this, we'll just use the built-in tool. Go up here to Create, and come down to Photo Collage right there. Now you can make your collage any way you want to. This is just a fast way for this video. It doesn't really matter how you put these together. You can overlap your images, do anything you want, create any look that you want for the montage. This is just the first part. And there we go. It's placing our photos right now. As soon as that's done, that will then give us our choices for the layout for this. There we go. There's one choice. That's not too bad. We'll be going with a vertical option. And I'll use this one over here that has the diagonal lines in it. Just double click on the option you want. It's going to reapply your images into that layout. Just go ahead and finish that. Come down to save. And notice how it saves here as the photo project format or a PSE format. We don't want to save it as that. We want to save this as a regular Photoshop file right there. And let's go ahead and give this one a name. I'm going to call this one Cat's Silhouette 2. and choose save. There we go. Okay, we can now close this. I'm not going to bother saving that a second time. And let's just get these things minimized out of the way here. I have a whole bunch of these pictures. There we go. Get those all out of the way. And then we'll open up that Photoshop file. Let's go over here to our layers and then file open recent. And it should be at the top of your open recent list right there. Okay, so this gives us a file that has all this stuff in it. These are the masks and all your images all combined in here. Now I don't want to have all of that nonsense. So we're going to merge this whole thing down onto just one layer. So right click and let's just flatten the image just like that. There we go as a background. Okay, so we now have just this on one layer. Now at this point, don't forget to like and share and also subscribe to my channel. That helps me keep on making more of these videos. Okay. Let's now go up here to a new layer, make a new layer like that. Let's do a white fill on this layer. Go over here to your colors, click on the defaults, and then hit the little double arrow right there. It puts white in front. Grab the paint bucket and just click in there someplace that fills that with white. Okay, now on this background, double click where it says background. And that's just going to change that name to layer zero and make it so it's no longer a background layer. We can now take this and drag this above that layer one. Okay, this is all important because we're going to be resizing the file and I want to be able to make copies of this one layer here. Let's go up here to Image, come down to Resize and Image Size, and I want to make this exactly half of this size. Right now our width is at 1200, so let's set this to 600, and that should say 900 down below here. If we set this to inches, should be seeing 2 by 3, and that's correct. Make sure these are all checked. Now I'm reducing this in size, so come down here and change this to Bicubic Sharper, which is best for reduction, and choose OK. It just makes the whole file size smaller, makes our picture smaller as well. Now we're going to increase the canvas size back up to the original size. So image come down to resize canvas size right now. Here we go. And let's set this back up to double this. This will be 1200 pixels and this will be 1800 pixels. Let's set the anchor point into the bottom left hand corner and then choose OK. And there we go. So this now gives us this size down here. This is exactly one quarter size of the whole picture and we're back to our regular size. Let's now take this layer and make a copy of this. Just right click and duplicate layer, choose OK. There it is. And then just grab that and pull it straight up. Now it's a little bit thicker in here. That line is now doubled as you can see there. If you want to, you can just use the cursor keys and tap that down so the line is about the same thickness right there. OK, I'm now just going to merge these two layers together. Hold the control key or shift key down, grab those two layers, right click. Let's merge those layers and then right click and duplicate layer again. There we are. Let's now move that over here to the right hand side. And again, I'll tap this to the left just a little bit so our lines are all about the same in there. That looks good. Let's now merge these two layers together. Right click, merge layers. There we go. Let's hide that just for a second. Come back to our background layer here. And I'm going to grab my fill bucket and fill it in with white so the whole background is now white. Okay, so we have a background that's white and then all these pictures of cats on top. If you want smaller pictures of cats, just do that same trick I did, but start off with making the cat size smaller, maybe one third the size or one quarter of the size, and then work it up from there. Let's now move up to this layer, make sure you're on the top layer, and then, and then come down here to graphics, and I'm in type, 
and shapes. And I'm just a little ways down from the top. There's the top, just a little ways down from the top. There are these three cats. I'll grab that one right there. And you should get a cat sitting on here. That's the same color as your foreground color, and that's fine. Now just grab one of the corners in here. Make sure you see that diagonal arrow. And let's pull this cat shape up until it nicely fills the whole window here. And that's pretty good just like that. And I'll center that a bit better. So somewhere in here looks pretty good. Maybe back just a little bit. There we go. And hit the green check mark. Okay, so now I'll go back to our layers. So we have that shape layer. Now all I want from this is just the shape itself. So hold the control key down and click on the thumbnail. And that selects that shape on that layer. We can now hide that layer. Come down to this layer, our montage layer here and then hit the layer mask button and it adds a layer mask in the shape of that cat and there's all those pictures inside of that layer mask. Double click on your left hand side so you're back on that side. All we have left to do now is just to add in that drop shadow. So layer, layer style, style settings and drop shadow. I'll put the angle over here at 135. So it's over upper left hand corner, a bit like that. And we can bring our distance out just a little bit. There's the distance. And the size is the softness. So if I bring this up a little bit, it just softens that out. And there's something right about in here looks pretty good. Maybe 24 distance and 35 on the size. Opacity at 35%. Choose OK. And there we go. See now if we can get this as large as possible in our window here so you can see it better. And I'll just zoom in just a bit here. And there we go. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Click on share. Click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more. Photoshop Elements videos, and take a look at my complete course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.